My name is Sandra. Uh huh. What do you do? Uh, the, the proper word is prostitution. Prostitution? Mm -hmm. Why do you decide to do prostitution? Because I fell into a life of drugs. And I believe that, my beliefs and my morals is I don't steal and I don't hurt nobody. So I get out here and I make money by selling sex. Because sex sells. Because it's so it's a, it's a, it's a one hand wash the other situation is I need money, they need sex. Uh, do, you, do you understand that uh, being a prostitute uh, is against the law? I understand that, but I understand that I understand that, and I don't accept that because it's my body, and I don't believe I'm hurting anybody. The point is because I can't pay taxes on it, it becomes a crime. But I don't believe trading sex for money is a crime. It's like being married. You get your wife hair, hair done, get her nails done, and then y'all have sex. So it's like, what's the big crime? It's like my body. Now I'm not selling nobody else's body. How long have you been doing this? About two and a half years. Two and a half years? Mm -hmm. In a day, how much money do you make? Like $300. $300 in a day? Mm -hmm. That is a lucrative business. Yes, it is. How many people do you think you have sex with in a day? About 20. 20? Mm -hmm. For approximately $40. Forty dollars. So mm -hmm. if somebody gives you forty dollars right now, you sleep there with a the person? Yes. Uh, do you know there are diseases out there like HIV and other stuff? I understand that, but I protect myself very well. You um, protect yourself? Mm -hmm. What do you mean you protect yourself? Condoms. Condoms? Mm -hmm. So if what about what happens if someone decides to sleep with you or have sex with you and gives you hundred dollars without a condom? Ain't no amount of money worth my life. <laughs> That's where I come in with my morals and my values. If not, if you can't wrap it up, that means you have a serious problem and you want to give me something. If I actually put a condom on and you don't want to, then that's the end of the conversation. Have you ever slept with somebody doing this job without a condom? Nope. What, ha what happens if the guy wants it raw and in the process of you guys having sex, he decides to take the condom off? I would know if he took it off and then and that session would end. Really? Really. I got the money. <laughs> the fuck? It's over. Huh? Well, do you take the money before you guys have the sex? Yes. That's a must. That's like going to McDonald's. You, they're not going to give you the food without the money first. Uh, this is a uh, issue that is going on in Rochester. You started as a drug addiction mm -hmm. and that sent into this. Yes. Do you know that you can find help to resolve that problem? Yes. So why are you not getting the help you need? Because maybe I'm not ready for help yet. I gotta want it to accept it. And when I want it, I will know. It's like life. If ever, you know when you're ready to do something. Two and a half years uh, been in this prostitution business, you've made a lot of money. Why are you not quitting? Because I don't feel like quitting yet. It's not. I'm not ready. I'm not at a point where I'm ready. But when I'm ready, I'm going to do it right. And I'm going to stay clean. Do you have children? I have three daughters, actually. Do they know that this is the job you do? No. Why? Because it's not something I'm ready to tell them yet. How old are they? 14, 13, and 12. So you are willing to do this for the public? Do you think your kids may look at you in a different way? No, they, they will, but they understand. Because it, honestly, it takes guts to come out here and do it. it. It takes guts to do what me and these other women are doing. 